Number seven is a short form for signaling system number seven. And it's a protocol commonly used by telcos to route SMSs, voice calls to each other. And an attack can be launched to intercept or drop a voice call or SMS. So to your question, SS7 has known vulnerabilities and are critical for DFS or mobile money, like we normally call it here, because they can undermine the privacy of the mobile network users. Some of the threats we've observed in our environment are the ability to determine the subscriber's identity, which is the um, international mobile subscriber identity, which is the IMZ. The other threat is the ability to hijack and monitor subscribers' voice calls. Then the other one is the ability to intercept subscribers' short message services, which is your SMS. And then the other that is common is the ability to manipulate subscribers' USSD, which is your unstructured supplementary subscriber data. These threats, if exploited, can compromise the subscribers, the subscribers basically, and it results in um, huge financial loss, uh, fraud, that eventually impacts the company reputation. I'll give an example. In the telco environment, USSD is very common for most of our services like um, mobile prepaid, mobile money, mobile banking. And with this, there is normally the sharing of uh, one, one time pins. They have, okay, we call them OTPs, which is your one time passwords or pins. And this could be intercepted. So any fraud linked with USSD can cause severe financial implications to the subscribers, to the network operators, as well as the financial institutions. There's a couple of mitigations out there. However, for MTN specifically, to solve the signaling related security issues, we have implemented an SS7 firewall. This file provides us the capability to view all SS7 threats and attacks and also has a flexibility to address new threats as they arise. Uh, the weather file was designed to mitigate threats by monitoring SS7 traffic. That's on the map and the camel. Those are really application parts, which is essentially uh, message monitoring. And here it detects unwanted and unsolicited messages. It also helps us set firewall policies and enforces defined rules to ensure legitimate use to avoid malicious intent. It basically provides us an insight into attacks and threats onto our network, which would otherwise go unnoticed. And then another thing that we're using the firewall for, it triggers email alerts. There's a group that we created that is, that is called uh, Cyber Defense First Responders. So they pick up indicators of compromises and immediately assign them to responsible teams to block any cases of attack or threat.